The story of J-50, also called Scarlet, has captivated the world. It's a story of the plight of southern resident killer whales and just how far humans will go to save them. Monday morning, the sickly Scarlet was nearly pronounced dead, having disappeared for days, prompting the Center for Whale Research to say, quote, hope is fading for her survival. Then just hours later, she was spotted alive, as one researcher called her spunky, saying she continues to surprise even the experts. She's just a canary in the coal mine that, like, that continues to say to us that, look, something's wrong, something needs to be done, start doing something about it. Jeff Hogan has researched the southern resident killer whales for decades. For him and many others, Scarlett's story is not unique. She's sick and starving as her entire family group faces possible extinction. Last month, officials made a drastic move and shot the whale with antibiotics while also trying to feed her. The intervention came as Governor Inslee's killer whale task force gets closer to a deadline on recommending ways to save the southern residents who are at historic lows of just 75 with only about a dozen reproduced I feel like we keep going back and readdressing and re-asking the question when we already know the answer. Hogan's skepticism of slow-moving efforts to save the whales prompted him to create killer whale tales, educating kids about how they can help in hopes adults will catch on too. Scientists have known for years that they face a trifecta of challenges, boat noise, dwindling fish supplies, and pollution. But even with that knowledge, the whales continue to decline. Those were the three best guesses, you know, since I've started working with these animals. Sound, lack of prey, and toxins. We keep saying the same thing over and over again. And the only one we seem to ever get traction on is the noise. And when we're still asking questions about what's in this for us instead of what we need to be doing about the whales, I think that's where the whole thing stalls out. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.